Grasslands are that metaphorical caterpillar. Brown and drab in winter, they are transformed by the spring rains into lush and lively meadows. The grasslands biome is one of the most threatened but least protected biomes in the country. Large areas of our grasslands and the associated wetlands have deteriorated or vanished due to agricultural production, mining, commercial plantations and over-utilization. The great news is, however, that some of these land uses can operate while supporting grassland conservation, such as livestock ranching. And through various initiatives, like the Biodiversity Stewardship Program, more and more farmers recognize that they have a responsibility to conserve our grasses. In recent years, BirdLife South Africa's IVA program, along with its government and NGO partners, has been working with farmers in the Chrissysmere, Dahlstrom and Miamal areas to negotiate that these areas become formal protected areas, which resulted in the declaration of over 90,000 hectares, including the Greater Larkin Flay, Snewberg, and Chris's Mere protected environments. These landowners have committed not to plough, but rather conserve remaining intake grasslands. And where grasslands are used for grazing, they will implement sustainable grazing and burning practices. Their properties will also be monitored to identify threats to indigenous birds, other animals and plants. And where necessary, mitigation measures will be implemented, such as removing alien invasive plants, fighting poaching, or improving the burning practices. Biodiversity Stewardship also brings together farmers, NGOs and government to work together to ensure that grasslands will continue to provide a safe haven for the many animals and plants that depend on them. But very importantly, to also continue providing water to a nation that lives in a water-scarce country. BirdLife South Africa continues to mitigate threats to and safeguard IVAs by working in partnership with landowners, government and NGOs to further declare protected environments within our grasslands biome. Phase 2 of the Snewberg Protected Environment will be initiated in 2018, while the Vilcha Stewardship Project continues to gather impressive momentum to declaring the headwaters of the Angula Nature Reserve. We will also continue assisting to develop and implement management plans at all the private protected areas that we have been involved in.